There's the pop on that side. That's fine, we'll just we'll sit on that side coming back. So yeah, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the that's the one. The sound is strong enough to hold up the weight of bands, but not the weight of beams. <laughs> Early one Tuesday morning, four rail enthusiasts got up and travelled on the 715 train from Towen. Where were they headed? To Porth Maddock. The journey itself was over an hour, running along the coast, and we watched some fan-made Thomas content to pass the time. With the journey to Porth Maddog complete, we decided to head down to the narrow gauge harbour station and have some breakfast. Porth Maddock Harbour is a terminus station for two narrow gauge railways, the Welsh Highland Railway and the one that we're travelling on, the Festiniog Railway. This station has a gift shop which as of 2023 still sells VHS tapes and a restaurant slash bar. These lines are part of a narrow gauge railway network that runs along several different routes, of which special services run throughout the week, including the Mountain Spirit. And here it comes now! You see that engine there? That is a double fairly. In the shortest description possible, this is just essentially double-sided tape if it was a train. There is a wealth of technical details to how this engine works that, to be honest, I don't fully understand myself. But there is one thing I am certain about. They are magnificent lookers.
It's going, it's going to go glass. See, we came out of the cafe just in time. Hello, my name is Prince. They call me the old gent. It's very kind of them to look at me this way. Mind you, I'm the oldest now in the steam engine. We've been busy boiling trains. So, is it these seats that we've only got reserved? Yeah. I don't have a measure. Four person. I think this is what it means. Four person from Tartan. Yeah. Well, my lucky word, too. No one else. So here's a fun fact. When my mum was a child, she went on a school trip to the Festenjog Railway and rode on a train hauled by one of the double fairlies. There are only two of these on the Festenjog Railway. So even though we can never be certain, there is a one in two chance that the engine that took my mum on the train ride is the same one that's taking us today. How about that, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is my work. Who's there? Oh, that's. Oh, that yeah, happened. She's probably getting them. We all deal with them. Yeah. <coughs> oh, there's a little service there. Yeah. I don't know. I admire this. So there's, a, there's a guy, a guy, an idiot guy. He enters a well, there's a guy. He enters a uh, he enters a place. He's in pits, and uh, he's a performer in front of him. And he says to him, hello, my name is Johnny. And one of the kids at the bottom goes, no, it isn't. Right. Can't take it too frequently. Now, that's the Yeah. 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 The train does leave in due course. We're off. And we're off.
going to the front of the front engine. Oh, that might as well be like a disappearing act. Yeah, it's mad. <laughs> and so the mountain spirit journey begins and it's a magnificent journey with some gorgeous views which I tried my best to capture on camera if however you find travelling footage to be not to your taste, then do feel free to skip to the time that I have noted here. If you've decided that you'd like to stick around and enjoy the view, then I hope you do exactly that. Here is the route that we are taking to get to Festiniog. Mountain spirit. The views are breathtaking. We're quite high up. A lot of trees in the way, so it's difficult to capture on camera. But apparently, fall is a really good time to come back. So autumn probably to be gone. Your view is not as blocked. The rocks they won't be able to do anything. Up <laughs> I don't think even brown trousers could save one's dignity here. Look. 
a very smart piece of work. Okay. Along the journey, the train stops so that we can catch a view of this lovely little stream which runs under an old footbridge. It's like something out of a fairy tale book. This is the part where the line circles in on itself and climbs a gradient. We'll end up on a bridge that goes right above the tracks we've already travelled on. I was in spot with more stuff before to do it. Hello!
Oh no, it's more. It's more. It's more. It's more. It's more. It's more. It's Finally, we arrived at the Fistineog station, where we'd have half an hour to walk around, admire the engine, and even explore the station buildings. Bridge. The next bridge, and next one for that, the time I'm disappears underneath it. 
and then it was time for the return journey. Like before, there is a fair bit of footage of the journey, so if you wish to skip that part, a new time will be shown here for you to skip to. So that was our time in Blind Office anyway, it was just a brief corner, but to be fair, there didn't look like there was too much to do anyway, it's just a small shot. So we're on our way back down to Port Planet now, and we're going to hope to get some more photographs there, but I think I'm just, this time around I'm just going to enjoy the sea, enjoy the view, just enjoy that, we'll take photographs of whatever I want, and, uh, and get down there. I think it'll be a great place for time, a good time to be had by all. Oh, absolutely, yeah, it's been a great time out here. Absolutely, as we've said, uh, yeah, Robin's coming there as well, as me, because we've swapped sides this time around. Where's Owen Wilson to go? Wow! It's nice. I was thinking about the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone video game for a second and just how Saxon Drake or Malfoy is all the time. It's like, it's like when you meet him the first time, it's like... Oh, the winch at the top. Yeah, because like Draco Malfoy appears in the game and he's all sassy. And he's like, uh, he's like, well, 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 if it isn't a famous Harry Potter. And he goes, go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry, you don't have one, do you? Like, how rude, horrible that is. Like, how horrible is that? Just out of curiosity. Oh, out of curiosity. Oh, thank you. Because if you guys take over to North East, Sawyer's. Sawyer's to Jesuit Evening. Sawyer's. Well, after a full network ride, Sawyer's is the best part of the network. And uh, Sawyer's is Sawyer's. Sawyer's is Sawyer's. Because you can't go in anymore because it's closed. I don't know if it's just temporarily closed, but. Uh, yeah, the National Trust have a pretty real one. Yeah, it's so cool. We'll go down there. They ran alongside the trains, they thought maybe it was stopping. And then we just heard this guy shout, You missed! Like that! Sorry, sorry. We heard this guy just shout, You missed! Like that! Oh, it's cool. Like on that part, it was pretty fun. You came to school. You missed! Didn't even want to yeah. wave, did he? We weren't even looking the right way. Just wave like that. Boston Lodge is on that side, so we get to see if Prince is there. They must have a three-point junction to be able to turn them like Prince around if they need to.
Yeah, because 1338 is when you get about two hours. Yeah. Well, well, an hour and a half to the hour point five at most. Then. So there's way more cover to Boston Park, you see, and that'd be great, but. Looks like we'll go to the track. Yeah, across the car. I mean, I don't know if we'll be stopping across that much. I mean, if we are, we'll ask if we can get up there and just put one. I mean, what are they going to do? We've got another pair of They can't get us to not be trying to hold it as well. I'm like, I'm not joking. Just the brakes. Well, you're going to want to see your brakes again, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I know it's funny, I beat up this time around. I know, but the way we saw you this time around compared to last year. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, last, last year it was crew, you were just on a pack and you just went. But <laughs> this time, you just sort of looked at each other and went, let that run up once. Like getting an invasion of the body snatchers. So it's like, I came with the crew, we were like, there is he, where is he? There was like, oh, there he is. I went, oh, there he is. We looked at you, the image you saw us, and just went. <laughs> I can get Ellie on the phone and get him to sit up to her. It's one of you on the traveling now. Oh no, I can get her on the phone, I can't see. Because of you, Harry keeps calling the captain. Oh yeah, I briefed. Can't have a pie without a Boston Lodge Works is the workshop for the Festinial Railway. It was here that coach number 24 for the Tallinn Railway was built. 25 and 26 are still under construction.
might be too bad. We returned to Porth Maddock Harbour Station, and it seemed the good weather had been waiting to greet us. Who's that on this tree? <laughs> What's it? Cabbage there. Maybe some cabbage meat? And yeah. is this E? It's not Ben. Why did you say that? You said that every day. He goes,
Jonathan was on that train. Hmm? Uh, the guy we were talking on the train with after the photo charter. Oh, on the wooden one, or the one we've just been on? At the extravaganza. Yeah. Yeah, was he on like the one we've just been on, or is he on the one that's about to the leave? One, the one that just set off. Oh, wow. He was, was, was at the very front. Oh, what a lucky lad. Yeah, this is Wonder Wonder. Well, at the very least, I can say that I've met the same engine that my mum met on their school trip. And now, for my favourite shot, possibly of the whole Wales trip.
Did you get it? I got, I got it. Nice one. You know, all I had to do was follow the damn train. After a look around the harbour, it was time to go back to Tawin. I was meant to bring them today. Wow. You get three. Is that all? Oh, they're laid out that way, aren't they? I know. Oh. I know. Like, oh, it's quite confused. It's an unusual oh. way to arrange this. I don't like it when they do that. Oh, nice. They okay, keep them in one piece, so I put them in here. Yeah, those um, the illustrations in your book. Yeah. yeah. Well, I bought them off in the shop, so it isn't safe. This is the um, Welsh Highland Heritage Railway oh, yeah. little bit. Oh yeah. Train spotting when it comes to start here. Right, so we've come back into Towin, and we're now going to check out Buccaneer, which is seemingly the only arcade in Towin. Uh, that's caught our interest, so we're going to have a nosy, probably play around on some of the stuff. I think Harry's intent on going on the crane machines that we've spotted in the corner. Hell yeah, give it a go, might as well. Absolutely. And there's something Bumblebee themed that I saw in the doorway, but apart from that, it's all a complete mystery. Oh, all right, issue. 
So yeah, we're taking our second walk down the promenade and off to the arcade. Absolutely. We all contributed. We contributed way. towards winning for Luke this Transformer. Yeah. Dead chuff with him. Starscream, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. The best one. That was all based on little ticket wins. And it's actually quite funny. I was on one of the 2P machines and I think it was the best luck I'd ever had with arcade games. Um, I'm not sure what system it is that decides how many tickets you win while you're playing, but every now and then it was just spewing out another ticket or two while I was putting my coins and I just thought it was because of how many I was winning. And then eventually it actually just starts spewing them out, but it doesn't stop. And I wish I'd got this on camera. It was like a massive pile of these tickets for me. And it went on for a good three or four minutes, non-stop. <laughs> it's incredible. Obviously that helped with getting the amount of tickets needed for that Transformer to be won, which is fantastic. I didn't quite fancy anything myself because arcade souvenirs, it's like, I've got no room for any more stuff, especially with what I'll already be taking back from the extravaganza. And that's souvenir enough for me. But um, Luke wanted to win the Transformer as a gift. So that's what we was all pulling our resources in for. And it worked out. So I'm going to watch Whitnell and I tonight, obviously with the others. Uh, I've never seen it before, but it's got Paul McGann in it and Richard E. Grant. So away from the promenade we go and back to the caravan. It's all the corner. <laughs> I saw it oh. in the corner. When did it go in the we corner? We weren't recording. <laughs> <laughs> Who saw it just, go in the corner? It was me. We was just chatting and it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shh.